Dear students, now it's the time for lesson 4, unit 7. Have you ever? We will start by listening to Nadine talking about her friends. We will play the audio and you will follow as the script in front of you. Check. People in my class have done lots of different things. Celine has climbed a mountain, but it wasn't a very big mountain. Adil and Nazneen have traveled to another country. They both went to England last year. I have stayed awake until midnight. It was my birthday, but no one has touched an elephant. Have you ever touched an elephant? As you can see, as you can see on the chart in front of us, there is the start. Have you ever? Have you ever? If I start the question with have, then of course we're talking about the present perfect tense. You have my video about explaining the present perfect tense and just remember that ever is only used at the, at the questions. Climate, traveled, stayed, touched. That's the past participle of the verbs climb, travel, stay, touch. Now we will get to the talking part, number two. Interview your partner. Ask and answer the questions on the chart. Ask the questions as well. Being in the class will make this much easier. We will have questions to each other talking about what we've done before. Have you ever played tennis? Have you ever touched a cat? Have you ever traveled to Cairo? Whatever. So, we should have done this at the class where we can interview each other. Have you ever? I've got two answers. No, I haven't. Yes, I have. Remember, I have has a short form which is I've I have climbed I've climbed she has climbed she's climbed they have climbed they've climbed that's the short form with the long form in present perfect tense Write something to your partner has done and something your partner has never done. Never means negative. And I don't need to write not at this sentence. Luis has played golf, but he he's never stayed awake until midnight. His is a short form for exactly he has never means did he do that no he has never done this so it's negative and if we use never we never put not again let's move to the next page where we have more examples but this time it will be about irregular verbs some verbs are irregular. They are more difficult to remember. Ask and answer these questions. Then make up new questions using the same verbs. All what we need to do is to learn by heart, is to know as much as we can that 
each type of verbs we know the present and the past or the base form and the past now we should learn the third type of the third form of the verb which is exactly the past participle have you ever ridden a horse have you ever ridden a horse have you ever ridden a camel ridden is the past participle of exactly right have you ever seen the sea have you ever seen the sea have you ever seen a famous person seen this is the past participle of see that's good have you ever been to a circus have you ever been to a circus have you ever been to a football match ben is the past participle of b that's good so we should have a practice at home to write something you've done and something you've never done for example I have ridden a horse but I've never ridden a dinosaur that's a good example you can use the verbs be see ride or any other verb you know the past participle of to form a past participle form of the verb to make a present perfect tense sentence now we have a very interesting poem we will read together and I will mark the difficult words as we will um, get the meanings from the block. Here we are. Have you ever done that? By Julie Larius. Have you ever slept outside on a hot summer night? Everything looks different in the moon's strange light. The trees seem to whisper, whisper as you bravely whisper back. Bravely. Outside at night. Have you ever done that? I've never slept outside on a hot summer night, but I've ridden in a boat being tossed like a kite on dark, wild waves with the wind at my back. On a boat in a storm. Have you ever done that? That was a very interesting poem. Now, we will get to the difficult words. Did you underline bravely? Did you underline? Tossed. Did you underline storm? Now, let us guess the meaning. Open, listen, four notes. That would be page eight. Listen, four. That would be page eight. Bravely. Behaves in a brave way as he doesn't worry he can face the problem face the problem Exactly. He's a brave person. He is behaving. He behaves in a brave way Tossed Throw something that's throw. No, if you don't know where it goes Then it's toss Throw something carelessly carelessly you don't know where does it go storm an extreme weather condition with very strong wind heavy rain and often thunder and lightning that was a storm remember when we talk when we say no one it must be 
has no one is singular no one has a car no one has a car the last note which is number four it's talking about the con contraction he's a car he's a car what type of contraction is that? What is the apostrophe S stand for? It is standing for he has a car. Good job. He's got a car. He has got a car. Perfect. He's a clever boy. He is a clever boy. That will be the difference between the three forms of his he's a car he's got a car he's a clever boy that was all about the lesson the rest is in the video the present perfect tense and then we can review the classwork and the homework as well best of luck everyone